I remember dreading deploying the latest version of our web application. That was more than 10 years ago. Um, in my agency, we were building this uh, very complex uh, system for a fintech company. It was a quite large PHP application with thousands of files, uh, multiple developers involved working on it. But when it came to deployments, we had to do everything manually. Every few days, we had to deploy the updates to show our clients what we were progressing with. And the deployment was just the most stressful part of the week because we had a long checklist with like dozens of items and it took more than an hour. And sometimes it had to be done out of hours not to disrupt the client's day-to-day uh, -day work. And we just never knew if a file was going to get missed or if, or if one of our, our change had broken something else. Because the, the challenge at that scale, when, when you work with complex uh, web application, is that every time you want to make a change, there are several developers being involved. There are many more steps to perform and, and the risk of something going wrong is much higher. So to manage this, the DevOps world came up with a solution to automate all of these tasks and, and mitigate the risks. And this is when one-click deployments was born. So let's explore together today the benefits of putting that in place in your development workflow. Hey, welcome to this new edition of Digital Blitz, your short brief on everything UX, tech and compliance. I'm Sylvain Reiter and I'm here to help you succeed in digital by delivering better experiences for your team and your customers. So one-click deployments, as the name says it, it allows a single person to deploy a web application pretty much without having to break a sweat. And there are three main benefits of using one-click deployments that I want to share with you today. The first one is that anyone in the team can deploy and it's literally a single click. As I remember those old projects that, that we were working on like 10, 15 years ago, most of those issues that we were encountering were linked to human errors. Even if we had very good checklists, having to repeat a manual task is very error prone or if the person who knows all the little quirks and all the settings to apply and, and the, the steps to take, uh, if that person is off sick or unavailable, we were just stuck. But even with automation of a deployment, you still need obviously a strong process to make sure the right thing gets deployed. And there are offline workflows around source code management and code reviews and approvals that you need to put in place. At work, we manage the code with a tool called BuildBucket and we control everything via this Git flow process to show the pull request, who gets them approved, the permission on the branch to, to put things together and it's working well. The second benefit is that one-click deployments are fully automated and can do as many tasks as you want pretty much back to back in a very short amount of time. As for those complex web applications that we're building, you need to run automated tests, you need to compile the front-end assets, you need to move the code to the servers, update the database, monitor the health of the application after the deployment. There's just so much going on. So you need to use tools to automate all of that. And there are tools like Jenkins or the one we use, uh, it's called buddy.works, where we basically just hard code the, the workflow to deploy on our AWS or Azure servers. We found that that tool had all the best integration out of the box uh, with the components we used from Docker and all the AWS hosting settings. And then we can run our custom commons on top of it. And the third benefits of one-click deployments that it just speeds up the whole process and reduces the downtime. Because we've literally moved from deployments taking several hours 10 years ago to seconds, kind of not even a minute sometimes today. And it's because it's fully automated. We can make deployments during the day and even if the team and the end users are, are using the application. So it does require some planning on the way you code the application and the server side, but it's completely doable. And with that automation, 
developers can focus on writing quality code and the DevOps engineer have more time to manage the security, the performance and, and work on improvements instead of firefighting issues around deployment. At the end of the day, clients get more releases more often of higher quality, so everyone wins. So those were the three main benefits that uh, will make your life much easier if you uh, enable one-click deployment in your workflow. When I remember that fintech application I was telling you about when we were deploying manually, it was really the highlight of the week and we were all so stressed about it. But today, the same types of projects are even bigger and more mission critical are deployed several times a day and I don't even know about it, it just happens. So one-click deployment is really the best thing that has happened to web development in the last 10 years. One last caveat to mention though, despite all of this information, we are still enforcing a no deploy Friday. It's very popular in the development community because even if we have teams that can support our application 24 seven around, around the clock, around the, the world, we still try to avoid any major change just before a weekend. Like we all want to enjoy our weekend and, and rest. So we still do the major releases earlier in the week. That's it for today. If you're struggling with your deployment or something goes wrong every time you're trying to go live, leave me some comments below or get in touch. You can watch other video about technical optimization on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe to keep learning with me and grow your career in digital. Until next time, stay safe and see you soon.